Oh shit! I wasn't expecting her to be like just right there, you know? Um. Oh shit! Where's she coming from? Oh! <laughs> she. She. That little landmine and it caught me and scared the hell out of me. <laughs> Oh man, that's why this game is so fun, you guys. That's why this game is so fun. I just need one of you to call 911. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days of Diamond Old Guy Gaming, and this is Alpha 19 Experimental on Build 163. And we played this game on insane difficulty. The zombies are all set to nightmare speed, and we have a hell of a fun time doing it, usually. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just teasing. I, I do have fun playing this game uh, on these settings in particular. And by the way, uh, if you're curious, I do have a multiplayer server, and I do play on normal settings on that server with uh, some other people on the Discord. Um, and by the way, if you're interested in playing with us, um, make sure you join up with the Discord. You can find the link uh, to that in the About section of the uh, YouTube channel. Um, and then... Uh, we can uh, get you in on the server. Uh, the thing I do want you guys to know, though, if you want to do that, is that I typically only play um, on Tuesday evenings uh, around 6 to 7 p.m. Mountain Time. Um, and sometimes uh, if I get a chance, I'll, I might play a little bit on Saturday at late afternoon or early evening. Uh, but otherwise, that's really the only time I'm on the server myself, only because I'm just really busy. You know, I've got two YouTube series going on. I've got a full-time career. I've got a sick wife, you know, that I'm taking care of. And um, just not enough time, man, not enough time. Um, so, But I do try and get on that server at least once a week and, and play with other people. So if you want to join, um, you know, first join the Discord and then shoot me a DM and we'll uh, we'll get you hooked up. Uh, the server is on 24/7, however, uh, so you're welcome to play as long as many, you know, as often as you want to. Okay, enough about that. Uh, let's see. We got a bunch of things to look at in this episode. Just some things here and there. Um, and if we get time, I do have a, um, a, an, a cl man. This text is hard to see. A clear and retrieve uh, two kilometers away from here. That is a long ways away. Let's take a look at where that is, actually. Um, I've got a closer one too. So, okay, I'll tell you what we'll do. If we if we have time, we'll go do this one. If we don't, then we'll just do this one that's that's close by. Uh, but anyway, this one, if we do show on map, that is so far to what direction? To the west. That we haven't even been that far to the west. Interesting. Okay. All right. Well, anyway, uh, like I said, I have a, I have a bunch of stuff to show you. Uh, since the last episode. So where do we start? I guess the first thing is that uh, I had mentioned to you guys a while back that I was thinking about building a road, um, you know, from this town to this town, because this little stretch of terrain is a little bit rough to get across. And because I needed a bunch of stone to make the concrete to repair the bay and upgrade the base, I figured, oh, what the hell, let's just go ahead and do it. Um, and, but of course I had to do it by hand. So needless, needless to say, I had to drink a whole lot of coffee <laughs> uh, and, and food, you know, just to keep my stamina up so I could do it. So you can kind of see this on the map. We'll go take a look at that, um, here in a little bit. But, uh, as a result of doing that, uh, I've been able to mine up a crap ton of stone. And so as you can see, I made another forge and I also made another cement mixer. And this forge at the moment is, is purely dedicated to just making cement for us. And then this forge will continue, you know, to do the iron. I also hit an iron pocket um, in the mo uh, in the tunnel that we dug. Uh, so we got a whole bunch of clay, a whole bunch of extra um, of a little extra iron. My mouth does not work today. Sorry. Um, and we're doing good on the resources. And I still have even another full stack of iron here and two full stacks of clay uh, and a little bit of stone. Okay, so let's grab that. And and then uh, what I've been doing, of course, here is just splitting up uh, the concrete between these two so I can double the production there. So let's get that going. However, pretty much all of this concrete that we're making now is just extra because I'm pretty much done doing the upgrades uh, and repairs that I wanted to do to the horde base. Um, so I think that's all I have to show you here. Let's go take a look at the horde base now. It is all ready to rock and roll. 
So um, I have fully upgraded all the bars to iron, as you can see, and I made myself a nice little iron cage here with the door. Um, and you, and if you guys remember, I found that junk turret. I don't know if it was the last episode or the episode before it. Not too long ago, I found that junk turret. We got it out of some loot. And so I repaired it, loaded it up, and put it on the top there. And that's going to help us with buzzard control, right? Because we're going to be standing here the entire time. And so if buzzards come along between myself and the junk turret, we should um, pretty much take care of them. Everything in here is now reinforced concrete, um, all completely upgraded. And my my hope is that before the next horde night, we will I'll be able to upgrade at least these little poles here to steel. So that way, if they do happen to get all the way through, you know we have steel uh, poles protecting us. And I still have the option, of course, of basically you know pulling the trap door out from under the Zekers if things get really bad and dump them out onto the ground. Okay, so that's all done. Um, we did. I did just a little bit, you know, of upgrading and stuff out here. I don't know if you guys remember, but this was all wood frame, so I decided to make that solid. I mean, this little pit that I originally made, it really isn't doing us any good because the zombies just don't care about going down there. Um, but, you know, it's already there, so I figured I'd just leave it in place. And then, of course, as you can see, everything out here has been um, completely upgraded to reinforced steel. And so we are in pretty damn good shape and should be ready f to make a good showing on Horde Night 28. And I'll tell you what, man, this little base design here, uh, this sucker has been an XP farm. I mean, we've gotten two, to two, three levels or whatever, you know, each Horde Night. And as I'm able to get my, you know, my gun skills and my explosion skills up to do more damage, it's just going to get even better and better. So um, we'll see how things go, though. You know, Horde 28 is not going to be uh, anything to joke about. Um, and I'm game stage 68 on top of that, so I think we'll be okay on 28, but then after that, unless I can get things upgraded to steel, uh, we'll have to see. We'll have to see how things go, and then we'll have to come up with a solution um, at that point. Okay, so I think that's it uh, for the, the horde base. So that is all completely done and ready to go, and I don't need to do anything more uh, to it, so that way we can... Have fun doing questing and whatever else we want to do between now and the rest of the time before uh, Horde 28 is upon us, which is in four more days. All right, so let's go in here again for a minute. And uh, let's just grab something to eat real quick. We'll just take that. I burned up all of my coffee. These two I, I got from the vending machine. Uh, doing all that mining because you know, uh, I only have I'd well actually I do have Let's look at that. I do have uh, 69 and mother load up, up to four now and a Boomstick I'm going to be able to get to four when I get to the next level Because we have an effective level seven on strength because we have the the cigar and I'll probably never take that cigar out of my mouth again for the rest of this playthrough so for all intents and purposes <laughs> We have uh, level 7 of strength. I don't know that I'll take strength beyond that, at least not right now. But, you know, a level 4 of shotgun is pretty damn, pretty damn useful, shotgun master. Uh, and then, you know, I might put some points into Skull Crusher. Um, if the, the thing about sexual Tyrannosaurus, okay, here's, here's my Alpha 18 and earlier Modus Operandi. Boy, that was a mouthful, wasn't it? Okay, <laughs> anyway... Um, what I I never really took more than one point in this because usually I would find an auger by now. Um, and then, you know, once you fight an auger, then stamina doesn't matter anymore, or at least it used it didn't. But it used to not matter in Alpha 18. It might now in 19 because I have not had my hands on an auger yet, and it might start using stamina. Which, you know, it kind of does make sense that it should use some stamina because you got to hold that machine while it's, you know, do that kind of thing, right? Um, anyway, so we'll see how that goes. All that to say, I might actually go ahead and put a few more points into this just because if we're going to have to continue mining by hand or if the auger is going to also cost us stamina, then we're going to need this. Um, so, you know, that's something that I'll have to change from what I would normally do. We've got lots of ammo uh, made up for the Horde Knight. So we are good to go on, on that. You know, the other thing, too, is I can make grenades... Um, so I might go out and wrench a bunch of cars because you need mechanical parts and iron and that sort of thing and actually make some nades too. Uh, but we've still got those pipe bombs, so we'll probably use those up for 28 and then start 
uh, using grenades after that. I've had several screamers and running hordes come through. Of course, I'm you know the place is is heated. Oh yeah, that's a running horde there. Uh, the place is heated up like the freaking surface of the sun because I've been running those forges nonstop. Uh, but that's to be expected. Okay, let's go take a look at my road. It is not finished, but we made pretty good progress on it. We'll look at that and then we'll go ahead and and do one of our uh, one of the quests. All right, so the road, um, this road ends right here, as you can see. So basically, I figured out what my um, coordinate, my north and south coordinate was. Uh, and then I just went straight from here, all the way down across this, well, I'm not going straight now, this road. And this is where I actually started the road here, okay? And so, as you can see, I made, I've made it four blocks wide, so when we eventually get the four by four of the Jeep, We'll, you know, it'll be wide enough for us to take the Jeep through here. But this is basically about as far in as, as I got on it. And this, of course, remember, again, this was all mining by hand, so it took quite some time. Uh, but, you know, we got a level or two out of it. We got a lot of resources, so definitely worthwhile. Here's the iron vein I was telling you about that we got some iron from, too. So I'm going to keep working um, on this off camera, and we'll eventually punch through to the other side. And then um, we'll probably have a bit of a downhill part, but as long as it's smooth... Uh, I think that's all we really need to do. I just wanted to have a smooth, you know, road to get over to this town because this is where Trader Hugh is. Um, and, you know, we're doing quests from him and from Trader Jen, so we need, uh, you know, we, de we need that access. Okay, so that takes care of the road. Let's see now. If we're going to go do this quest all the way off to the west, you know, I did have a drop. I was down in one of my mines when the plane went by, so I just kind of used the sound of it and I put a little marker right about here because that that was a pure guess on my part by the way but let's just take a quick look I'm not gonna spend a long time looking for it but you know with the new mechanic where you can see the smoke from quite far away if I'm in the ballpark we might be able to spot that drop from here man look at that terrain that is just that looks so good I know I, I say that a lot but it really does I mean this is you know, whatever else you might say about Alpha 19, you guys, this is the best looking Alpha of Seven Days to Die that the Fun Pimps have ever come out with to date. It really looks good. Um, so, yeah, kudos to them for that. Except for when my frames tank for no reason. Then I'm pissed. <laughs> hey, look at that. <laughs> I was like way off on where that thing landed. Way off. Well, I guess I you I wasn't way off because remember I was underground and I just heard that it was you know somewhere to the to the northeast so I put the the marker there but it's actually here so so that wasn't that wasn't terribly off uh, but nevertheless here it is let's take a look and see what we have in this airdrop. Um, barbed wire mod schematic. We'll teach you how to craft this item. Is this that's for a club, right? That's or is that actual barbed wire? Look, we got some antibiotics. Okay. Not bad stuff. Let's just read this, even though I'll probably never do it. Kill a screamer zombie. Oh, well, shit. We can do that. Um, all right. So this is... Let's use it. I think that's... Is that barbed wire, like, just this kind of barbed wire? Or is that for... Oh, okay. Yeah, that's got to be for the club, right? That's got to be for the club. You used to be able to just make normal barbed wire as well as the barbed wire with the wood, but they changed it. I think they changed that in Alpha 18, and now you can only make uh, this kind of barbed wire. So, yeah, that's the mod for the club. And um, interesting, interesting. Okay, but I we have the spike mod, so if we ever actually use the wooden club, which we probably won't, but if we do, I, you know, we'll use the spike mod before we would use the barbed wire mod. mod bleep, barbed wire mod anyway. All right, I'll see you over at the quest area. All right, guys, we are here, and I just found uh, one of the clothing stores. This is like a sporting goods uh, clothing store, like a Cabela's kind of idea. Very cool. Uh, I'm sure we'll probably get a quest uh, for that at some point, but you know what? I haven't seen one of those in any of the other towns, so let's actually mark this. Um, and if we don't get a quest for it fairly soon, we might just come and do it. Um, 
I'm gonna go ahead and call this Cabela's because you know it's kind of what it is, right? And uh, we lucked out. We basically had highway all the way here, which was great, so we didn't have to go across country. Um, I wonder though, we are getting really close to I think the burned biome. Uh, no, it looks like we'll we'll still stay in the green biome, but there's the burn biome just out yonder there, which we we've, we've only been in the forest this whole entire playthrough so far. Um, and man, talk about a huge forest too. Um, yeah, we're right <laughs> on the verge of the burn biome. Oh wow, this is a tier two house. I would have thought this was a tier three house. I, I, we've done this house many times. Um, if it's the house I'm thinking it is, but yeah, check this out. Burn biome looks so much more um, atmospheric, maybe is the word. <laughs> uh, the smoke just looks so much more realistic than it used to before. So, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, actually, it's kind of hot here. All right. So, we're right on the edge. Right on the edge here. Let's park our bike here. And... Um, if this house is still the same layout as it has been in the past, we should be able to get to the fat loots uh, going up this way. So, whoops. So what we'll do is we'll uh, do fat loots first, and then we'll, you know, do the quest for realsies like we normally would do. I'll leave those there for now. So we are in sneaky sneak mode. So let's see if we can get to that door and get it blocked before the Zikaruskis wake up and know we're here. Yeah, see there's zombie Steve right there. That ought to do the job. Now, check this out. <laughs> that worked out pretty good all right um let's go ahead and check the fat loots um there's actually another place that we're going to go to as well uh before we before we start the quest for real okay so we got the medical medical supplies there let's sh check the chamois box with chamois Check the working stiffs. We'll save the best for last. Um, okay, we'll take that. I'll take that stuff. We got an ammo pile here. And the big chest. All right, we've got craft exploding arrows and crossbow bolts. Very nice. We'll take that. We have found our first steel leg armor, but look at this, you guys. Purple iron leg armor, which means four mod slots. Um, yes, please. Okay, so what are we wearing right now for leg armor? Okay, we're wearing purple scrap. Um, interestingly enough, this, this steel is actually not as good, at least in terms of just straight up armor as the scrap is. Uh, plus, we would only get one mod slot from that. However, the iron is, uh, three points better in, in armor rating and explosion resistance, which is super cool. So let's modify this. And we will modify this. And now we have got ourselves a nice new armor upgrade. These we will scrap for the parts, and these we will uh, repair and sell when we get back home. More ammo. And then there's a secret room over here if you guys are not familiar with this POI. And inside there is a dead body. Gross. Oh shit. Um, and this is a secret stash crate. Hidden stash. Um, alright, alright. We'll take it. Okay. That does it. Now there, there's like a, there's a garage on the other side of this wall with an, you know, kind of um, I wouldn't call it an attic, but rafters, you know, th that the zombies are in, and that's usually they wake up when you come in here. 
We should probably actually take care of them because otherwise we're gonna have to deal with them later. All right, well, since we're in the garage, <laughs> we might as well uh, hit this place too, eh? Oh, that just leads into the room where we killed Steve earlier. Okay, so we don't actually need to go in there. And I guess there isn't anything else up here to loot. I thought there was, but I must be confusing this with a different place. There we go. So this is a, a, a clear and a retrieve quest. And it looks like the satchel is on the first floor. Well, we got someone's attention from outside. So stupid they can't even come through the window. Right here, dog. He jumped the spikes, though. All right, well, we either have a sleeper that's trolling us, or there's no sleepers in this room, which is a little unusual, because usually there are sleepers in here uh, whenever I've been in this place before. So we're probably going to get jumped here in just a second. You watch. You guys just watch. Now there is definitely, most definitely not a sleeper in this room. Um, what if we do something like this? I guess we don't need to do that. Okay, anybody in here? Where the hell do they all go? <laughs> all right, let's take a look at the bookcases. All right, we've got do 10% more damage against deer. That's going to come in handy for hunting. I saw so many animals coming coming down here. Oh, wow, look at that. Uh, Grave Diggers and the Fortifying Grip mod schematic. Beautiful. We'll take both of those things. And here we got the Structural Brace mod, and we already know that uh, that magazine. And the generator, our basics of electricity. Lights, relay, okay, cool. Yeah, that's actually a really nice find. We will put that to use for sure. I'm gonna scrap those and dump those. Huh. I am really surprised that there's no Zikaruskis in, in here so far. It's almost like they've made this this POI just a little bit easier than it used to be. Um, all right, well, let's go through this door here. A little bit of landmine action going on there. Hello? Hello? Oh shit. <laughs> that made me jump. <laughs> Is it just you, Steve? Okay. This is where Steve was hiding out. Whoa, little little lag spike there. Purple biker pants. Awesome. Love it. Um, we're wearing BDU clothing, right? I think we have both a BDU top and BDU shorts. Yeah, okay. So that's pretty much the best clothing in the game. Clothing, clothing, not armor, of course. And, alright, I guess we're done in here. Oh, shit! I wasn't expecting her to be, like, just right there, you know? Um. Oh, shit! Where's she coming from? Oh! <laughs> She detonated a landmine and it caught me and scared the hell out of me. 
<laughs> oh man, that's why this game is so fun, you guys. That's why this game is so fun. I just need one of you to call nine one one. All right. <laughs> that was awesome. That was freaking awesome. Um, let's scrap a doodle that and scrap a doodle that, and none of this stuff is worth much money this is worth some money so we'll keep that that'll be worth money after we fix it up scrap that get rid of the jars and you know what i don't actually want to keep the scrap iron either okay let's proceed <laughs> that was hilarious i love it i love it let's see what we got here some pain bills hello Hello? We've probably already... Well, no, not necessarily. There could be a Zika Ruski in there. Well, if there is, they're really sleeping hard. I'm beginning to think the shotgun blasts are still no, no guarantee that you're not going to get a sleeper because that's already happened to us a few times now. I'm not even going to loot that stuff. We're going to leave it right there. We'll take the water though because it's water. Don't need wood. We got lots of wood. Uh, let's see what's behind here. Oh wow, check that out. That's a shotgun messiah crate. <laughs> How interesting. What, is this one too? Nope, but this one sure is. Okay, let's see what's in there. All right. We might actually be able to put that right on uh, right here. Yeah, we sure can. Check it out. All right, we just increased our armor by one point. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. All right, let's go on into the kitchen here. Where'd Darlene go? There you are. There you go. Okay, say the satchel's like right around here. Is it all the way up there? No? Maybe it's out in the garage. Okay, let's go into the garage. We're going to have some resistance in here, I'm sure. I, I couldn't see him, so I figured we'd just get their attention from the shoddy. Ronald McDonald, Edgar, and businessman. All right, oh, that's probably all of them. Oh, I'll bet you it's behind this. There we go. Okay, so that part of the quest is done. You know, we probably ought to repair our shotgun. What do you think? It's about time to do that. All right, let's continue. Ah, oh, shit. All right, we'll just go up this way.
Ow! Stupid spider. You know, spiders should be able to jump up a block and come after us, but I have not seen them do that in Alpha 19. Did I hear another Zeke? Nope, it says return to trader. Okay, cool. We are done killing zombies in this POI. And we're back in the fat loot's room. Man, I wish we could find a frickin' um, bellows. We found a bunch of anvils, but we have not found a bellows. All right, let's get the ammo pile, shotgun messiah crate, and the fat loot's. Look at that, a steel club. Hmm. How does that compare to our sledgehammer? Uh, it's quite a bit less. Quite a bit less. Of course, you know, less stamina costs and faster attack. But, I mean, it's significantly less. That doesn't mean a purple steel club would, wouldn't be necessarily. Uh, we've got some more shotgun parts, which is good. And, yeah, the rest of this stuff, that's really just not even worth selling, really. So we'll probably scrap it. We'll scrap these for military armor parts. Okay, that's not bad stuff, though. I mean, definitely not. Let's go get the hidden stash, and then we are done with this place. More ammo. We'll take it. All right, guys. Well, that is it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did... Consider hitting that like button and subscribing to the channel. Um, it takes no effort to do that. It costs nothing, and it will certainly help the channel grow. And uh, if you didn't like the video, please consider leaving a constructive comment, and I will consider your remarks. We'll kill Hawaii 5 and then we will say goodbye. Goodbye.